I want to go to Terry Zwicker and Lita Zwicker, who are joining us tonight. They are the stepmother and the grandmother of Trey, who was absolutely bludgeoned to death in this case. Here's what I don't understand. These are two brothers that, from everything I've read, loved each other, loved to be around each other, loved to play with each other. They had a pet turtle that, that they were playing with together minutes before, hours before this happened. Was there jealousy at all from Joshua Young toward Trey? Well, I'd like to state that they were not best of friends. They had barely known each other. Uh, uh, Josh Young's father had been in the jailhouse for eight to 10 years. That would have put Trey and Josh Young at what, three or four? Uh, Josh Gowker had got out of jail, what, in October, I think. And Trey and Josh were kind of thrown together they were not best friends. They were acquaintances. Yes, they may have shot a couple hoops in the backyard, and they may have played a couple video games. That did not make them best friends. Josh Young did not love Trey Zwicker. And as far as I keep hearing, uh, he was a pallbearer at the wedding. I mean, I'm sorry, at the funeral. Uh, that's because they forced it on him. We didn't want that. His father and his, and his I guess, his stepmom forced that on him. So that's another thing. That's all, that's all bunch of bull itself. We, you know, we Terry, just had to go along with it to keep it as cordial as possible. Terry, I appreciate you, you saying that because we want to get to the truth also. Why do you think Joshua Young said in his statement to police that he had been around Trey his whole life, that he thought the world of him, that they were really close? Because you're saying that, that that's a lie. It is a lie. And, you know, I mean, I guess if I was on trial for murder, I would make up stuff as well. I, but they were not, they were acquaintances. They were not best buddies. And Josh like, is a pathological liar, I mean. Absolutely. So I'm not saying they weren't cordial against, uh, around each other when they were stuck together. But, I mean, late night, yeah, they may have sat around and played video games. Yeah, they, they you know, they may have shot a couple hoops in the backyard. That, that does not make them best buds or, uh, you know, blood brothers at all. No. And once again, everybody with us is Terry Zwicker, the stepmother of Trey and Trey's own grandma, Lita Zwicker. Ms. Zwicker, Lita, what had you known about Joshua Young before this happened? What was your impression of him? What did you hear? What had you heard? I, I had not even knew he existed until after the fact that Trey was dead, but, um, you know, I, did, I, I knew very little of him. I knew that he was with a foster family and had just recently been put back in the home. Um, also, you know, my thoughts on him as a mother and a grandmother. Do I have, um, what's, what am I trying to say? Do I have... sympathy for this little boy. I'm going to be honest, as a mother and a grandmother, there's a small part of me that has some feelings of sorrow for him. But with that said, he was involved, he did the crime, and there's no way to bring our, our grandson back. Trey was a loving, deserving young man who deserved to live, to graduate, to drive, to marry, to have children. And Josh Galker and Josh Young stole that from us. And, and even with that sorrow that I might have for him as a mother and a grandmother, I mean, I buried a nine-year-old myself. I, I've watched him bury my, my grandson. Uh, but, you know, put the shoe on the other foot. If, if we were standing on the young side and they were standing on our side, would they not want justice for theirs? We want justice for ours.